In today's video, we're looking at the LG 840G. This is a 3G um, device, GSM. Uh, it's offered by TrackPhone, Net10, and Straight Talk. If you're looking at this phone, then I would recommend you probably go with TrackPhone for the reason reason being that it's um, only $59.99 with TrackPhone. It does come with dub the double minutes for life, and of course, you can use any card. Um, with uh, Net10, you don't get the double minutes. You can use any card, but uh, if you're familiar with Net10, it works just like any other Net10 phone. And with Straight Talk, you can use the $30 card on the phone as well as the $45 one, of course. But the reason why um, I kind of don't like the Straight Talk is because the phone is $79.99. And um, with Straight Talk, you can get an Android for like 10 bucks more. Uh, you can get the LG Logic for 10 bucks more, uh, and you get a whole lot more phone. Um, of course, uh, with the LG Logic, which is the Android version of this, if you will, um, uh, you do have to buy the uh, $45 card every month. Um, but with Straight Talk, you can do the $30 card every month on this phone. Now, um, as far as uh, it being, as far as using it with Track Phone, uh, this is a nice upgrade from their previous uh, touchscreen phones um, for the reason that uh, this phone has a capacitive screen capacitive touch uh, whereas their old phones their previous touchscreen phones are all of the resistive push touch variety um, so this one uses the same technology that's used on uh, all the androids iPhones etc so that's an it does have a very nice touchscreen very responsive and it's very accurate as well um, and you also get the uh, touch buttons just below the screen um, which is another upgrade from any other touchscreen phones they're all all the other ones are push push variety and finally uh, with track phone this is the only other track phone besides the uh, Samsung s 390 G uh, which is a, a full QWERTY phone this is the only other phone that you can get uh, Wi-Fi on as far as uh, on track phone so uh, that that's three nice features that you don't get on on most other track phones. 3G, Wi-Fi, and a nice uh, capacitive touchscreen. Now, uh, uh, as far as the size and and whatnot go, this is a very compact phone. As you can see, um, here's a playing card, so you can get an idea of the uh, physical size of it. It's slightly taller than the playing card, and about uh, the same uh, width. Uh, for for the uh, measurements, we'll go ahead and measure that for you. It's about uh, uh, between two and a half and, and two and a quarter wide. It's about uh, four inches tall. Uh, thickness is a little bit less than half, so this is actually one of the thinner um, track phones out there. It's just less than half. The uh, screen is of the uh, 3.2 diagonal variety. As you can see. And the uh, physical dimensions on the screen are about uh, 2 inches, a little bit less than 2 inches, by uh, 2.5 tall. So you do get a nice size screen with this phone, even though it's compact. Now, uh, the interface, again, this is, this is not a smartphone. This is a standard feature phone. So it's not an Android, even though it, it looks like one in the pictures, it is not. But the interface is very, uh, very Android-like. Um, you get uh, three home screens. Um, and you can uh, drag out little widgets to uh, to uh, one of the home screens, as you can see. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, you can configure this. You can re uh, delete some of the widgets, uh, add widgets, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, and as far as uh, the apps and, and stuff that's available, there's not there's not a whole lot. Um, in terms of apps, um, but it does give you uh, a lot more stuff than your typical track phone. Now there is no app store, uh, no real app store you can get apps from. I know uh, 
track phone lets you buy games i've never used that um from them before but I, but uh, uh i don't think you can get actual apps now while i'm talking about apps this phone does support uh java apps so you can um, install java apps i've installed um, opera mini on this phone which i'll show you here in a minute um, so that's another nice feature um, and, and as I mentioned earlier this phone does have Wi-Fi which is is cool for a for a phone uh, from track phone this is the on, this is only the second phone that uh, they've offered that has Wi-Fi um, you also get uh, some social networking apps that are that are built into the phone I can't uh, demo those for you because I don't have the phone active and uh, they won't work until you activate the phone because of the uh, time. Um, that time updates once you um, activate the phone. And if you try to use these without activating it, uh, it, it'll tell you the time is off and they won't work. So I can't demo that for you. Um, uh, what, uh, you have uh, MP3 player. You get a 2 megapixel camera. So you um, also have a video recorder, of course. Um, another nice feature is email. You can configure your email and, and send out email from the phone without having to go to uh, the gmail.com, for example. Um, and then finally, you know, you have all your standard little uh, calculator, tip calculator, that, that kind of thing. Um, so uh, interface-wise, again, very much like an Android. And as you can see, it's very responsive. But uh, in the app department, um, there's, there's not a ton on here. Uh, you can download and install Java apps though so that that's kind of cool and um, as I was saying I have uh, Opera Mini installed on here which which you can see here and this is a uh, this is a browser um, that I kind of like a little bit better than the stock browser that comes with the phone So uh, it's easy to install. It's just a matter of connecting a data cable and then dragging the uh, the JAR app that you can download from your computer over to the uh, folder on the phone. Which, um, uh, by the way, you do get a, a two gig SD card with the phone, so you can put the apps on there. You can also down uh, you know put your MP3s and whatnot. So here's uh, Opera Mini installed. Now for uh, some of the negatives on this phone, um, my main gripe on this phone is some of the um, some of the uh, uh, keyboard interfaces. For uh, the texting is nice because you get the QWERTY, so that's nice. But on the browser, um, which I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, on the stock browser, which is one of the reasons why I installed Opera Mini, um, there's some places where it uses the old uh, alphanumeric type keys. Um, for the uh, URL, you do get the QWERTY, but uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. And the thing I, I, I do like about the keyboard is that it's very accurate. Um, and it's very easy to type with except in some instances as I was saying and this is really the most annoying thing about this phone that I personally don't like for example in text boxes like that or like entry boxes like that you get this type of keyboard and you can't change that um, you can't make it uh, you can't make it QWERTY so if you look um, there's no option to make that QWERTY so, uh, in text boxes, you do get that annoying keyboard. Um, if that bo bothers you a whole lot, then, then you might want to think about another phone. But that's about the only negative I've encountered on the phone is that. Is that. Um, luckily, um, there's not a whole lot of places to, to do that in other than like search boxes and that kind of thing. Um, and as I showed you the text, the texting, you do get the um, QWERTY. Now the phone doesn't have uh, motion sensing. Um, as you've noticed, uh, this is by default that goes into that landscape mode. Um, but if you opened up um, 
the browser for example there's no motion sensing on this phone so it, it is a pretty basic phone and of course uh, like all these other um, these other track phones you can't do YouTube videos or, or anything like that um, now on the positive side the browser does do um, JavaScript so uh, most standard uh, things are going to work on your browser except videos YouTube videos um, and of course and finally you can't multitask um, you have to close an app before you open another app as, as you've seen you can't um, like if this were an Android if you did the home screen then you it would do that and it would keep the browser open but on this phone um, if you want to go to the home screen you have to exit the browser so that's another thing to keep in mind but um, basically to, to sum it up this is a very nice uh, track phone um, it would make for a nice upgrade to an older track phone um, it's got a lot not a lot nicer features than than any other uh, touchscreen track phone offered before so if you're thinking about upgrading to this um, I would definitely recommend it for track phone the only negative I found and encountered so far is that uh, keyboard that I showed you with the alphanumerics um, but other than that this phone this phone performs really well the touchscreen is very responsive and it's very accurate for uh, texting and whatnot and you do get um, uh, 3G Wi-Fi uh, that email interface um, and of course the capacitive touchscreen so overall for 59 bucks um, can't go wrong with track phone um, with the LG 840G